today I'm gonna to be showing you my makeup collection. I'm so excited. I have been wanting to do this for such a long time and you guys have been waiting so patiently so it's gonna be right here for you right now so I'm so excited if that makes any sense whatsoever. It's really late at night. I'm just like high on energy drink. I'm just like Anyways, basically um, my makeup um, collection is in a travel size suitcase because I don't have a room to dedicate a makeup room to and I just don't have like a lot of storage because I live in a small house. So um, basically it's, everything's going to be in a little suitcase which is so cool. Um, yeah, my room is definitely not like Shane XO's where she's got like a makeup room to herself. Like if you want to see an impressive makeup collection, I'll link her video down below because that stuff is incredible. Oh my god, goals right there. So good. Put out a disclaimer for you all because literally there's always someone butthurt out there and will call me like a spoilt brat and all that stuff and yeah. You can't say that to the eyebrow queen of the southern hemisphere because this girl works very, very hard for everything that she gets given, okay? So um, I have paid for basically everything in that makeup collection. I don't want to know how much I've spent because it will break my heart because I could be living in a house right now. But you know, I'm still living with my parents, helping my sick dad out and, um, you know, providing money to the family since my dad doesn't really have a job. So any spare money that I have, I spend it on makeup, which, you know, that's just my thing. I don't know. So yeah, um, basically everything in there I've earned myself and I will let you know in the video which stuff has been sent to me, which is fair enough. Okay. So yeah, let's, um, basically get started. Enough of this yibber yabbering. Let's go. Woo! Quickly gonna touch base on my lipsticks. These are all Jeffree Star lipsticks and these are all Kylie lipsticks. I really want to do a tutorial using all of these at some point, but yeah, the rest are Jeffree Star lipsticks and then Sugar Pill right here, but I'm still waiting for Jeffree to release lots more so I can fill this side up and yeah. So this is the top of the box. Do you like my disgusting swatch hand? This has literally been here for like a week and I've had about 18 showers and it's not coming off so just ignore my little grubby ass little hand but anyways um this is the top of my makeup collection box I've just got a, a lot of variety in here right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna open it up oh my god oh my god <gasps> all right so we've seen this so far now we're just gonna open it up oh my god oh my god look at this Anyways, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it into sections, so I'm going to do the top section first. Alright, so at the tippy top over here, now this just does not fit anywhere, so I've just kind of just plonked my NYX Dewy Finish spray just here. So just, just let it just, you know, be there. And I've got a pencil sharpener for eyeliner when it needs to be, you know, done up. When it needs to be sharpened again. So this is where I keep my contacts. I've got two blues and I think I've got a green. Yeah, I do. Um, now I use Desio, which is a very commonly asked question. And so, yeah, I use Desio all the time, nothing else. Desio is just amazing and completely gets rid of my brown eyes, which some days I love, some days I hate. So, you know, these are my lip cosmetics, um, glitters I'm just recently getting into those and I recently just bought this right here the Stila the Stila glitter things that are like here I'll give you a little swatch that everyone's crazy about I'm actually not I'm actually a little bit underwhelmed I think I've got a dodgy one I don't know I just don't get as much pigment as lots of people do now these are my color pops and Honestly, you're gonna literally like shout at me. They, they literally all look exactly the same. Like, I'm not joking. Like, you know, I have got so many rose golds, like it's not funny. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn them all over so that you can see, hopefully. So I'm just gonna, they all literally look exactly the same. I'm not joking. Why? Because I just love rose golds so much. My all time favorite that I reach for the most is this and it's, birthday girl oh my god this stuff is just literally this stuff is literally amazing like I don't know how else to put it it's just the best thing in the whole world so I've got more look that's a rose gold that's like a rose gold that's definitely a rose gold a silver oh changing it up a bit uh this is the catnip 
one and that's like a rose gold as well honestly i just don't stop with rose gold i've got this beautiful color from the kathleen lights collection absolutely love this um what else is there oh i put a nice brown a white what's this rainbow Ooh. let me swatch this for y'all okay so oh yeah so it's just a sheer white glittery color so that is beaut and also this beautiful gold orange color so yeah this is i've also got other colors and we'll get to those very soon it's just that these are the ones that i reach for the most also have this amazing um pigment thing that's kind of like ColourPop. it's what is it called australis metallics this is in um guns and roses and oh my god it is incredible and this pigment is literally like the love of my life i really need to get more pigments but they're 43 dollars and girl i ain't got that type of money to spend um this is my soft ochre paint pot because i reach for this all the time so i always have it at the top near the eye section and so now let's open this up because we've just done the whole thing i move past this fast guys all right and so now these are my eye pencils or like just whatever i put on my eyes really um so i've got my sharpie pen for my eyebrows obviously you can't go anywhere without those um i've got the nyx roll-on glitter and i absolutely love this i don't use it a lot a lot but when i do i it's a good time this stuff i don't even know why i still have this because this is completely run out but i absolutely love this i think i think the reason why i've still got it is so i can make sure that I get the other so that I can get another one of these so I'm just gonna put that into makeup heaven this is a NYX vivid bright so this literally cost me an arm and a leg because I had to order it from the actual NYX website then I had to ship it to my American address and all that stuff and then I had to sacrifice my newborn child it was literally an insane event but yeah I finally got it and love it um also got the NYX um, white liner oh my god this stuff is literally incredible oh my god like I've only just got it it's so good I got this in New Zealand this I haven't even used yet this is the NYX jumbo eye pencil in like a in like a rose gold color um let's give it a swatch can you open thanks all right let's see if this works yeah it's really pretty it's really nice so I just have this in here for my next use, next time to use it, you know. This is my L'Oreal Super Liner. My mum actually thought this was eyeliner and she can't use liquid eyeliner, so she gave it to me. So thanks, mum. Uh, this one is by Rimmel. This black liner is amazing. I absolutely love Rimmel. I did a video about it recently. So if you want to watch it below, have a look. I honestly absolutely hands down love Rimmel. These are the only ColourPop eyeliners that I actually like the rest are absolute shit I'm just being straight up honest this is another Rimmel um, white liner it's soft coal it's so good this is another NYX liner it's like a pink metallic thing going on I don't know it's real good and then these are the exact same thing it's I love these heaps haven't used haven't had the time to use them in a tutorial yet but I'm hoping to soon and then I've got this beautiful crusty ass disgusting knees are sharpened um, white eyeliner pencil by NYX this stuff is good everyone has this basically and then this is all makeup geek um, colored liners and I absolutely live for them they're so good so pigmented and they come in a pack and they're just honestly amazing oh my god all right moving on to the other side right over here if you can see i'll just zoom out a tiny bit for y'all here we go sorry about that okay this is basically what i put on my face well everything is put on my face but this is like this is like concealers contour primers eyeliner stuff that couldn't fit in the other in the other section so i'm gonna go through these this is the Benefit Their Real Mascara. Absolutely love this. This is so good. My other one ran out and I cried, but they sent me another one and I cried again. Better than Sex Mascara. I shouldn't be liking Too Faced because they're shady AF, but oh my god, this is such good mascara. Like, holy crap. This stuff, I've only just gotten, like, getting into it. This is the Benefit Dew the Hula Liquid Bronzer. Oh my god. This is a time and a half. It is so, so good. 
This is my eyelashes, my eyelash glue. I've got the clear one and a black one, and the black one is so much nicer. I don't know where I heard that this was nicer, but whoever told me, they're right. This stuff is the shit. This is my Bubby Professional, and I absolutely love this. I'm trying to use all of this up so I can, so I can get through this mama, but we'll get through to that draw soon. This concealer by it, Cos um, it Cosmetics by my under eye. This could literally conceal a nipple. This could literally conceal my entire life. Like if I put this all over, I would just vanish. So this stuff is amazing. Um, Cult Fave, the Tarte Shape Tape. This is absolutely incredible, amazing. Oh my god, fantastic, best thing ever. If you ever have money, get this. You will not regret it. Honestly, so good. I know when I first got it, I was like, I don't know what the hype is. And then I tried it a few times and I was like, oh my god, this is actually incredible. Holy crap. Then the, these are my beautiful LA Girl Pro Conceals. These are, oh, oh my god, so good. Like, I've got the white and then I've got like porcelain or something and then I've got toast and this is just to contour I used that today and I made a huge mess of myself but I really like this and then here's my chapsticks and I love these I only mess with this one really this is my all-time favorite the hydration lock um Shane so did a um collab with these guys and she sh did like how good her lips looked with this on and Honestly, she was right. This stuff is incredible, amazing, so good, love it. Definitely get your hands on that. And then these ones are like, create your own lip balm scent or whatever. So like, strawberry banana smoothie and lemon berry sorbet. But I always go to this one. It's just, I, I just do. I'm sorry, that's just what I go for. All right, so this is my number one drawer, which is usually not as full, but I just wanted to put everything in here just to show you guys what's going on in here but most of these are on my makeup table so yeah I all like when I do a video I organize what I want to have on the table so that I don't have to keep on reaching in here and like you know it makes it's easier for me to edit if I have everything already so yeah let's get started I'm so excited so basically we'll just announce the elephant in the room here these are my um highlighters by Jeffrey obviously um so I have got ice cold Lavender Snow, this is a really good one. Ice Cold's amazing too. Um, King Tut, this is a little bit too dark on me, but I still love killing it. Like, it's oh, oh, so good. Peach Goddess is like a number one amazing. And then this one is Siberian Gold, and this stuff is literally incredible. All of these I've bought myself, as I said earlier in the video. Um, I'm not sponsored by him or anything like that. So, yeah. Also, if you're wondering where my Manny collab is i have that out separately it doesn't fit in here and i don't want to put it into storage because i just want it out and about so that i can see it and can use it all the time so that currently is on my makeup desk right now which is just over there but i'm not going to show you because it's grubby next up are my go-to blushes that i love so much these are so good now this is the little mini benefit dandelion one and oh my god so lovely so so nice she said, do you want the big one? I was like, no, I can get through this. It's so pretty. I'm, I still need to get, like, the gal. Oh, God, I don't know what it's called. I don't know what it's called, but it's it's amazing, apparently. California or something like that. And then these are my favorite um, blushes ever. Like, oh, my God, these are just so beautiful. They came in a pack, and it came with a brush. Look at this. Can you see that? Can you see that? I can't see what I look like right now. I'm literally sitting right under my tripod. So this is going to be a nice surprise for me when I um, go to eat it. Um, so this one, I use this the most. I love this one. I think this is ingenious. Yeah, it's genius. Oh my god, I can't believe I guessed that. And then there's Royal and Pop. And what's Royal? This is, I think this is a bit dark on me. Yeah, it's quite dark on me, but I love it. I love it. I love it. And Pop, I have been using quite a lot. And it's just this beautiful one, and it's really pretty. So I'm just going to put that back. Now, I don't have many powders at all. Why? Because I react to too many powders. Like, I'm extremely allergic to the MAC Studio Finish crap. I don't know. I just can't have it. Recently just bought this, and I shouldn't have bought this because shady people. But this is really nice. Like, it honestly is actually quite good, and it smells delish. 
so lovely. This is my CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous and it's been very well used. Um, hit pan for sure. Um, really nice coverage. I love it. I love it. And also, oh, they're hiding more powders over here. They're just hidden away. Um, my Australis Banana Powder. This is so good. Oh my god. When I'm like a little bit darker, I have this and oh my god. I've nearly gone through it. Well, not, I've nearly hit pan, I mean. And then this is my all the time go to Australis Fresh Flawless Powder. And oh my gosh, it just speaks to me on like holy levels. It's so good. I love it so much. Um, now these ones, these beautiful colourful colorful creatures are the Colourpop Gel Liners. Now um, I've got a bone to pick with these because they dry out so easily. Oh my god. Like I recommend getting the gels um, rather than the eyeliners. These just go on so much nicer. Um, but this white has been through hell and back and you can't even buy it anymore on Colourpop. I don't know whose stupid idea it was to get rid of all the beautiful colors like this is so dry i've put like drops in it and everything and it's just too dry so i should kind of throw this out but honestly this has been so good to me and i loved it and i'm really sad but yeah crybaby is like one of my favorites this is so good i've hardly used it because i'm too scared because they're just honestly getting rid of all the beautiful color colored ones and it totally upsets me haven't used this yet no maybe I have haven't used that yet but I have it out just in case I need a blue um, eyeliner and then there's ho 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 and then just the black and you know what those look like um this is my NYX wit for wet whatever this is like a blush um but it's wet it, it was it a cream blush this stuff smells incredible I bought this online as well nearly had to give up my newborn it was so worth it though like i really like it this is my australis not my australis this is my um anastasia beverly hills in granite this is the darkest shade you can get this stuff literally bury this in my grave this stuff is incredible amazing oh my god so good so so good oh and then this is the lip scrub that is always on my table. It's really weird seeing it in here because it is always on my table so I can exfoliate my dry ass lips. This is the Velour Lip Scrub Hot Cocoa Peppermint. Oh my god. I wish this was permanent because this stuff is literally incredible. Like, oh my god. The taste, the smell. Like, when this runs out, I'm actually going to cry myself to sleep because this stuff is... Oh my so good this is another um blush right here this is by makeup geek and look at this color i need to use this more like for sure this stuff is like whoa oh, oh, oh. neck level put this stuff back and then i've got the high beam by benefit and this stuff is incredible too like it's really good and this is my um concealer of the tarte rainforest of the sea i can't fit it in where my concealers are so i just have it sitting over here okay oh god oh yep sweet as no that's fine that's cool okay so this is my nars illuminator um what is this called copacabana kobe brian i don't know this stuff is incredible i put this as a base i'm running out i need to get more i've had this for about two years this was like the first high-end product that i got i think I'm pretty sure this stuff is so good I love it it's been through hell and back with me and it's so good this is my this is the prep and prime everyone has this though so it's nothing special oh this is the hula everyone's got this as well um, I really like this I'm waiting for the light though to come out in New Zealand this derma blend is so worth getting it is so good for baking no flashback I got sent this and wow this is really really cool really really good okay and so these are my now don't know if you know this but foundation is my all-time go i love foundation so much i love playing with it i love being with it i love kissing it i love taking it out and showing them the city this is some of my high 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 coverage foundations so this is the kat von d locket foundation it's very very pale on me because i love looking porcelain doll pale um, so this is the palest that you can get basically 
Derma Blend sent me this and I was like, oh my god, what are you doing? And this stuff is amazing. I wish the tube was bigger. Like, it is so good. And this cover effects, oh, if you want to like be a mannequin, you just put a few drops of this in your foundation and you'll be away and laughing. I love this stuff. I try not to use it too much because it's literally like $88 and it's so expensive and I can't believe it. It's insane. Okay, and then this is my matte finish um, by NYX and this is the one that can just fit in here. <laughs> This stuff I was given by Make Up Your Mind and this is the um, Oxygen Skin Correcting BB Cream and at first it's quite dark but the finish <gasps> is amazing. It's so good. I love, love. This is my go-to um, drugstore foundation by Chi Chi. I am in 0.4 and I love this. This is really, really lovely. This is my go-to primer. This is my Prime Time by Bare Minerals. I like, I love the feeling of it, and it just feels so nice and hydrating. Now, I absolutely love Benefit. Benefit's like one of my all-time favorite brands, and this is the Pore Professional Matte Rescue. I use this a lot. This looks so good with lots of foundations. Like having a matte finish is so worth it. I use the Pore Professional like literally every day. This stuff is my life. Okay, my life. I got sent, um, oh, these, both of these. Um, this is when the brand new Pore Fashional Pore Minimizing Makeup came out the, with the little button and it literally you look photoshopped when you have a little bit of this on. And I love the packaging of Benefit so much. And this is the um, Agent Zero Shine. I don't use this a lot, a lot. I forget that I have this, but... Um, even though it's in here. Yeah, it's really good and I need to reach for it more, So, which is why it's up in here, so I can reach for it more. And then these are my two favorite foundations ever. The This is the Hello Flawless Oxygen Wow. This is my second purchase of this. It is so good. This is by Benefit as well, and oh, wow, it's so good. And the Born This Way by Too Faced, really, really nice as well. Basically, that is it for this top box. It seems like a lot, but once you have like a mind like mine where I'm so, I change my mind 24 seven of what looks that I wanna do. Like some days I'm drag, mo no, actually every day I'm drag basically, but oh, I just love this makeup so much. It is the best of the West. Now it's usually not, it's usually like a mess. It really is because I'm just like, so yeah, that is it for this top part. Oh, also before we go, this is to shave my mustache, my upper lip. Um, this stuff is so good, you can get it from the $2 shop and it's the best. So yeah, that is basically it for the top part of my makeup. Okay, this is a quick little section. So this is the second section of my um, makeup storage. This is all BB creams, which I use when I am like fake tan and stuff. And I've got a beautiful little glue stick in here because sometimes when I want to practice drag makeup and look like RuPaul, I glue my eyebrows down. And these are my revolting ass beauty blenders that need like they should just be thrown away, like they're disgusting, they're so bad, which is why I don't really go near this drawers as much. Now, I don't know if you guys can notice that, notice this, but my favourite lashes is um, XO Beauty. Um, honestly love these lashes so, so much. These are the Chic by obviously XO Beauty, I love these heaps. This is the Feline, I just know them off by heart because I just love them so much. This is something from... Huda, Huda Beauty. I got this from eBay. It was literally 50 cents. I spent no money on these. Like, these are fake, obviously. So yeah, that's the same. It goes in here. This is from the party stack. All the rest are missing and it's disgusting and I should kind of just throw this away and just keep those, but I just haven't come around to it yet. These are my all-time favorite lashes. This is what I purchase the most. This is where Shannon looks at who's bought her lashes and she sees that I've bought, bought like 100 pairs of these and she's like girl are you okay? I love the gold digger lashes so so much 
These I got from eBay for like, again, like 30 cents. They're really good and I don't know, I just love bot buying. I should actually throw this away because this stuff is absolutely nasty. This is where I just put all my lashes in to reuse them and stuff, but I'll just get rid of that because that's rank. Um, these are more lashes. Honestly, they're like lily lashes. I can't afford $30 lashes because I just... They just get sucked up in the vacuum machine and I don't know, I just like getting stuff from eBay that looks really, really good. And if, and if they are a bit crap, I just chuck them away because they were only $2, you know? This is another Huda Beauty, which was like two cents or whatever. This is to put on your lashes. This actually, I am, I don't really need this, but I just have it in there just in case. Especially if someone wants to put on some makeup and they need to use that, I just, you know, let them. This stuff, oh my god. This is the Prima Donna. I forgot that I had this. <gasps> I forgot that I had this. Exo Beauty lashes are just too precious for me because, like, I always lose them. So, yeah. I've got another chic lash and, yeah, it is just such a good time in this drawer. But I forget to come in here because I just usually reuse the lashes on my table until they're literally, like, dying. Literally, like, hyperventilating, losing their breath. This is also some bottom lashes too. This was like from eBay for like, again, like 60 cents. And then this is from Exo Beauty. And these are bottom lashes. I love, with a capital L-O-V-E, bottom lashes so much. And these are the Soulmate lashes. And this one's coming apart because I tried to glue them down, but I did a terrible job. So yeah, put these back. Voice is cracked, whoops. But yeah, I love this drawer, but I hardly go into this drawer because the top part's just too heavy for me. So, you know, I just kind of don't, but love these lashes. And I go in here when I desperately need new lashes and my lashes, oh God, my lashes last a really long time because of that. So that is all for this little second drawer. I love this little drawer. Now this is the bottom of my makeup and I don't go in this drawer a lot. Now, this is the drawer which has a lot of spare things in here and a lot of um, stuff that just not, that just does not fit. Oh, let me zoom you guys out. Yo, what's up? All right, so this is my drawer where, now my palettes don't live in here because I just have them out all the time. So this is my beautiful Androgyny palette, which I love oh so much which is completely smashed with the brown. So I need to fix that. But I love this palette heaps and heaps. But again, as I said, all these palettes don't live in here because I just have them out because I'm so undecisive and I forget what palettes I have if they just live in here. So yeah, this is my Sugar Pill um, palette. This is beautiful. I've just ordered a red and a dark pink. So I'm so excited for those. But I love this. I especially love the yellow and the kimchi color that she created. Love this palette so much. Oh my god. I hardly ever use this palette. Let me know if you guys want more tutorials using this. I just don't know if you, people use Lime Crime anymore, you know? Um, so this is the, what is it? Venus palette. And um, yeah, it is really nice. I forget that I have this. I really do. So, yeah, if you want a tutorial using this, let me know. Sweet. Put that over here. This is the Beauty Killer palette by Jeffree. I love this as well. This has been, like, dragged through the mud, like, multiple times. This stuff is so nice. I really like this. This is the Kylie Burgundy palette. I don't think much of this, to be honest. Like... I don't know. These shadows just don't really scream to me. So yeah, I don't know. These shadows just don't really call to me. I need to use this more. I don't know. I just think I need to do more looks with this and maybe I'll learn to love it. Who knows? This is the amazing million dollar beautiful Shanix O palette. This is so good. Does not cost a million dollars. It costs like $15. It's so good. I haven't used the lips. Um, the lip colors yet. I swatched one up here and cream lips are just not my thing unfortunately So I just go ahead and use this and oh my god This is so worth the buy like it's so good. I need to do more tutorials using this for sure, but yeah oh, I love this color. Oh my god. So good. Love 
This is the Legendary Modern Renaissance palette. Um, this has been butchered as well. Oh my god. I haven't used this in a tutorial for such a long time. I need to get onto it, but I love this as well. And these are my two Tarte um, palettes. I use this one more. The In Bloom. Oh my god. I got this because of Jamie Genevieve. She literally sold me on it. Um, this stuff is incredible and it's been through hell and back as well. It smells like white chocolate. It is so good. I love it, love it, love it. This also I love but the colours are just... I need to figure out what to do with these colours, you know? Like I need to come up with a look that works with these. So yeah. And then these are the Too Faced palettes. Now um, I can't, I just struggle to come up with stuff with this because they all just turn out quite muddy in my opinion. I don't know. They, it smells delicious. It's really, really good. But yeah, it's it's all right. I don't know. I, I struggle for colors with this, to be honest. Like, yeah, that's just my opinion. This is obviously the legendary Too, um, Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. I like this more, but I struggle with colors with this as well. I don't know. It's good though. I do like this. And then this is my Makeup Geek shadows. Now I have got a million shades of Makeup Geek which is at the bottom of this case and I'll show you guys it but this is what I like reach out for the most. I love my yellows, I love my rose golds, I love the browns and yeah I really love this palette. I haven't used Makeup Geek shadows in forever but I've just um I just need to get another Z palette so that I can put all the rest in you know Z palette. This is my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, contour kit which has been literally used. This has like been really well used. It's so good. I love it. Now these are my spares. Like in this case I have got so many spares. Like I've got a professional. I've got like an LA Girl Pro Conceal. Another one of these. Um, why do I have chopsticks? I don't really know why I have that. These are um, darker foundations from Rimmel. Rimmel sent me these and I'm so grateful and thankful because I love them. Um, but these aren't my shades unfortunately so I just have them in here for if I'm ever dark. Uh, what else is there? Oh yeah so I have stuff like um, darker Kat Von D foundations. This was my mum's but the colour doesn't suit her so she's like you can have it for when you are got fake tan on so I was like sweet thanks mum. So she gave me that which was really cool. I don't use these a lot. I used to. Um, the cream kit, I just do not like that well. I use that for drag makeup really so that I can just piss around and if I make a mistake like it doesn't really matter because this was like $12 or something. Um, I do actually enjoy, have enjoyed this, like the yellow's completely gone. Um, but yeah, no, I did like this but I don't really reach for it very much now. And I've got like brush cleaner in here. Artiste. Now here we go. Um, bloody, what's that? Oh, yeah. bloody Makeup Geek sent me so many colours. So, so many stuff. Like, oh my god. Like, I don't know what to do with it. A, a, apart from get a Z palette, you know? So, I'm trying to get a Z palette. They're just so bloody expensive. I just don't get it. This palette is really, un um, really crap. I won't really like it that much. I try to use this because lots of people have this. But honestly, this is really underwhelming and I don't like it. Um, I don't really like Morphe colours. They're just not that pigmented for me. I'm just really fussy. This is our... Now, these are some Jeffree Star um, highlighters that I do not use that often. Regina George is too sheer for me. Like, it's... See how I've, like, really scraped into that pan? It's just so... It's just so sheer. Like, I don't know how to put it like do you see that it's a sheer and I wanted it to be like pig pigmented crazy so I unfortunately do not use that a lot a lot and then this is the onyx ice and this is the black highlighter and yeah I just I use this a lot for eyes but I don't use this a lot a lot a lot because it gets a little bit everywhere then I've got some more Huda Beauty lashes 
that are really ugly which we, when I got them sent they look so much better in the picture but um, they're a bit shit here so I use that for drag makeup whenever I play. This powder is not the goods for me like this is really bad. Um, this is by Bean Minerals and I can't even open it. I can't even open it. It really makes my eczema go crazy when I use it. Um, yeah, I do not like this powder, but I have it in here anyway. This is stuff, like, some stuff that I kind of just don't want to get rid of, but I just keep them anyway. I don't know. This is a the e.l.f. setting powder, and this is quite good. I do like this, but I haven't really been reaching for it for a long time. But yeah, all of these are just like lashes. Um, oh, I've got a hair straightener in here. This um, mascara is really good, but it's dried up, and I wanted to keep it so that when I go out and buy another one, I've got this for reference. But yeah, I've just got lots of makeup geek. What else is there? A couple of ColourPop eyeshadows that I don't really reach for, but I just wanted to have in my collection. So, um, like this colour here and this colour. Um, I've got like the rainbow colour set, but it's. Yeah, there's just a lot of stuff in here, and it's all just makeup geek stuff. Like, here's a couple of ColourPop ones. Like, I've got a red, I've got like the peacock colour. I've just got a few things in here. And I've got a spare um, Gimme Brow, no, precisely my brow pencil because just in case I run out. These ones here, what are these? This is, oh, we just looked at those before. Oh, okay. But yeah, lots of these are just makeup geek stuff and I have a darker um, derma blend that they sent me um, for when I'm darker. So yeah, this is basically it for what's in here. Um, I don't use this palette a lot, so I'll put that back. I have no space for this, so I'm just going to put that back. Um, I haven't been using this palette a lot, a lot, but I want to, but you know, I know that it's there, so I'll put that back. I hardly ever use this. I'm waiting for inspo. This, I hardly, oh god, I hardly ever use that, so I put that back. This is hard for me to use, so I put this back. And I've got no... This is hard to use as well. I haven't thought of anything yet, so I put that back. Um, I don't know. I don't reach for this a lot, but I'm glad I have it in my collection because when I do need to use this, it's like, thank God I've got it. Um, so yeah, so basically I leave out... Um, and also I'm going to put back the peach palette because, like, I don't know, I just... When I know that I want to do something with the peach palette, I'll just go and get it, you know? Like, you know what I mean? Whereas these... Four. I have out on the daily. I always have these on my table because these are what I reach for the most. So yeah, that is basically it for this collection. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm definitely not like Shane XO. I have it all in a little suitcase, basically. <laughs> so yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. Say hi to your mum for me. Look after yourself. Most importantly, stay groovy. See you later, guys. Bye! What well, can't reach you win, you'll you learn